Hyundai believes the market-leading Nissan Leaf has had its own way for far too long in the affordable part of the slowly growing full electric car segment. They've aimed this full electric Ionic model directly at that car as well as at other key segment models like the Volkswagen ID3. On paper at least, this car certainly seems to offer a package that eco-minded buyers in this class will want to consider, especially in this revised form, where a larger 38.3 kWh battery features to extend the WLTP rated driving range to 182 miles. Inevitably, the need for a battery three times the size of the one in the Ionic plug-in model, mated to a much larger 120 PS electric motor, means extra weight, the curbside figure of this Ionic electric rising by 50 kilograms. In fact though, because all the bulk is mounted so low down in the car, that has a positive rather than a negative effect on drivability, reducing the body roll that troubles the hybrid models at speed through tight bends. Even so, there's nothing particularly rewarding about driving this car. The somewhat lifeless steering rather makes sure of that. Obviously, to get anywhere near the official quoted 182 mile WLTP driving range figure, you'll need to be using the most sensible of the three provided driving modes, green tinged Eco, which slightly res restricts throttle travel and climate system performance. You'll need to maximize brake regeneration using these steering wheel paddles. And you'll also want to keep an eye on the drive indicator to the left of the instrument binnacle screen, staying in the lower blue charge zone and out of the upper white power section. All the main EV stuff though is located on the 10.25 inch center dash screen. This right hand screen tab brings up battery status, driving range and the nearest EV charging station. As part of the upgrades made to this model in mid-2019, there was a switch from a 6.6 kilowatt onboard charger to a 7.2 kilowatt system, increasing the amount of charge the car can take in any given period. It's now possible to replenish this model's lithium ion cells with a charge of up to 80% in just 33 minutes, providing you've got access to a 50 kilowatt DC fast charger. If you haven't, then a home wall box will recharge an electric Ionic model completely in 4 hours and 25 minutes. Or if you're somewhere with only a normal 3 pin plug, um, then an overnight 12 hour charge should be sufficient to top the car up completely. This Hyundai challenges the eco motoring status quo in lots of ways and exterior design is another of them. On this battery powered full electric variant, a front grille isn't of course needed, not for cooling anyway. We'd argue that it is required for stylistic reasons, the battery powered version being saddled with a rather ugly blanking panel that can be ordered in a choice of grey shades or in polar white. Time to take a look inside. How futuristic has Hyundai dared to be here? Well, it's pretty much the same conventionally futuristic approach. You know that you're in something more advanced than an ordinary Focus or Golf Class family hatch, but there's nothing here that would be too taxing to adjust to. Well, almost nothing anyway. The Ionic Electric, of course, must differ from its hybrid and PHEV showroom stablemates when it comes to the provision of a gear stick, because, of course, it doesn't have to have one. Instead, on the separated lower centre console between the seats, the single speed transmission system offers small buttons for park, neutral, drive or reverse. The cabin of this revised model feels of higher quality than the original version we tried back in 2017. It's certainly a little smarter than what you get in a Prius or a Nissan Leaf. The big change here lies with the addition of this big 10.25 inch widescreen navigation setup, part of a media package which includes a very decent Infinity sound system, Apple CarPlay Android Auto smartphone mirroring and a suite of the brand's latest Blue Link connected telematics car services, these operating via a connected app. Anything this central monitor can't tell you will probably be covered off by this 7 inch driver's supervision cluster screen which replaces the usual gauges in the instrument binnacle. Here a circular display with a digital speedo is flanked by a power charge meter on the left and a battery indicator on the right. Time to move rearwards and take a seat in the back. 
that's a process that, unless you're really quite short, will involve the need for a slight incline of your head below this sloping roof line. Having done that, you might not be too surprised to find that once inside, as in say a Toyota Prius, headroom is at something of a premium for taller folk. Normally these seats would have been positioned a little lower to compensate for the swept back ceiling, but that's not possible here since they sit right on top of the powertrain's battery pack. Finally, let's take a look at the boot space on offer. A lot of the latest battery powered cars we've tested recently have managed to package in their batteries without encroaching on luggage room, but that's not the case here. The 443 litre capacity that you get in an Ionic Hybrid falls to 350 litres here. That's 55 litres less than a Nissan Leaf. If you load this Ionic to the roof, the figure rises to 455 litres. When you push the 6040 split folding rear bench forward, it doesn't free up a completely flat loading area, but you do get as much space as likely buyers will need, 1,410 litres being provided. Don't underestimate the scale of what Hyundai has done here. Some might have potential issues with it, of course. Uh, the looks aren't especially arresting, and some rivals can offer you more all-electric driving range. Still, if you can accept that, get on with the styling and adjust to the frugally focused manner this car will encourage you to drive in, then we think you'll probably like mostly everything else about it. Less than half a century ago, European car makers helped establish Hyundai. Now this brand is showing quite a few of them the future of motoring. Isn't it ionic? Don't you think? Mm -hmm.